How's it going, everybody? I'll freak you here back with another video on Final Fantasy 16. Hope you guys are excited because it's I feel like it's been a while, right? A little while. Come on, focus. There it is. I gotta get back on this, start playing it more. Just look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? Damn. No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some like. The question is, where is he now? True. And what the hell were those wireless doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And mm. I'll talk to Tomes. The lawsman. About what? About your fearful hound for a start. True. If any four-legged friends ever done that before. I'm bet but what I want to know is what it's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill. Right. True. It'll do. Uh, yeah, if he also gets fucking sick or whatever, Jill, bro, listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. All right. Yeah, that man, that dog transformed, dude. That was badass. Okay. What do we got? Uh, power of Earth. Oh, that's right. And feet you can block and then end off enemies and manually press square. Oh. You, sir, Otto, is now a good time? It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Yeah, good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Coolest Breakers and their other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only right. There he is. Oh. I reduce. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Mitch. Got long hair. When did you get back? Just now. <laughs> Smith that straight called her mid. Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will he be staying this time? Dunno. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to... Please, oblige her. Oh? While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. So Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. Mm -hmm. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air. Which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Oh. Super energetic well, person. Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the story and when you're done. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill, huh? My fee for bringing mid across. <laughs> I like how he just walks away, like, yeah, let me get out Storm, of here. Storm, was it? I wonder what mid's plotting. For real. The bunks is. What's this? Inspect? You look Thank like you, Sid. Look 
coming back to us. Mm. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? They're been worried about me for main character. I don't rest. You took your time. I'm a busy man, mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That eh? was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put me knack to work. I know that I can help the people here. And I want to do it. Well, well, well. All right. I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes, which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? <laughs> what do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the design to the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that every... For now, I'll let you know if I need out else. I guess we're going we're going to priorit prioritize this quest. Where to start? Materials. Um tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Sid's going to chop off Cooker's head this time. Hell yeah. I took off his arms. You were born in Rosalith, weren't you? All right. right. I I really do like the the music when I'm in this here. It's like super chill, relaxing. But, um, yeah, it's not too bad. Blackthorn. What's it look like? I have a commission. She requires... Bring tools. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. What's she... No. I'll see what I can do. To lot, my thanks. Next. Can I upgrade my weapon? That's what I want to know. Erin. Was wondering where you made back from Canva. Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores. And here's the list. Think you can find it? This lot. Excellent. It's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have nought to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Oh damn! Indeed it would. I'll send the stuff on to Midwinter. Thank you. Oh, I so she is her. good. Let's see if Bardolph's available. She didn't make filters oh, yeah. to filter out water and stuff. What'd damn. damn. Grindstone. Only five, bro. That it? No, it's not it, bro. Life. Give me. Sorry, what it be? So, I will make this. It last you a good while. Next thing. It's not even a lot. Just two defense. And I only have one scar scarletite. Gelatinous mass also. I think that that emblem looks like it's from. I don't even have that. Earthen Fury? It look like a, it's a boss or something. Like a. Yeah. And. Right. Hold on, can I upgrade the other one? What do you need? What's saying for you, India? Probably not, huh? I can't. And I got a better weapon now though. Yeah. Jill looked white as a sheet. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Do you say so myself? Alright. Do with a good old 
oiling. Yes, good. good oiling. Should be enough to... How do, Master? Hard off. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom. So naturally, I thought it... Well, I'd love to help the young, but I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes, neat. I'd gladly spare Mid all the time I have. <sighs> it don't have to be me, though, does it? You know, the one over at Martha's rest. That's right. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. <laughs> Least I could do. My boy right there, son. Okay. Let's go, uh... Open world map. Talk to old boy right here. Hmm. Martha's wrist. Hey, Martha. I need some help. Ah, Clive. What brings you to the rest? Ah, uh, home. Finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be... I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends. Thank you, Martha. He went up to Cressida on business. No, I... As far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there. Okay. Where? Oh. Okay. I can't even fast travel that way. Wait, where's my dog? Orgle. Is he not here? No, he's not here. Yeah, yeah, he's right there. Little beast ass dog. Go. Okay. No, no, get out of here. Don't you worry about them, Torgo. All right, here we are. Hey, bro. If it ain't the lad who saved my life. You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you. Oh. Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. <laughs> I, uh... Of course. Okay. Oh, damn. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. And much left. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, isn't you? <laughs> it's the least of them. Thank you. All right, sounds pretty easy. Just kill all the monsters on that side and we're good. Hello? This oh. should take long. Over here! Oh, all yours, Tom! Oh. 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 Bink. It's over! Yeah. I think I will get rid of Garuda though. For a second, there ain't no way it could be that easy. Ah! Yeah. 
I need to see everybody. Too bad. Level up. Let's go. Thirty-one. Sweet dragon talon. That should do it. Yes. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Have to, man. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest. How long is it since the village was... Well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the Blight and the Imperials. Yep. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Yeah, ten years, well, It may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Yeah, man. That's tough. Real tough. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past. No matter how nice it might. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that I'll meet you there. Sweet. Bernard is a nice guy. That should take care of Mid's little list. Better head back before she thinks of anything else. Oh, I'm gonna go. Oh, he's right here. Damn. Okay, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. See, can't miss this. What is this? All right, anything else? Probably inside of there. Yep. I have to fight something back here. It looks like it, but it doesn't. If it's not ready yet.
All right. Let's go back. I'm gonna go meet the uh, mid. I can't believe her name is mid. What do you got, bro? Is it the hunts board? We got Hawks Cliff Rosaria. That's the stuff we do on the side. Hawks Cliff Rosaria. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? Here? All right, Clive. I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter. That's brilliant. Is that? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. Quest complete. Done. Heck yeah! Let's go. <sighs> That's my good deed for the day done. Yeah. Let's see how Jill's faring. Ah, Clive. Taya. Recovering, but she still needs. Of course, take good care of her one. I'll do my best. Oh, yeah. Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show. The shelves. Oh, that's right. He went to. He must have found something. Ooh, interesting. We get to find out some more about Torgo. Oh. Don't want to talk to you guys because then he's gonna start a side quest, and I don't want to do that yet because I want to get some uh, actual content. Yeah. What's everyone whispering about? Hey. Oh, we should probably grab some potions and stuff. I think we finished up. Well, don't just stand there, gob. Oof. Awesome like that. Right here. Three. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Robbing you blind. Shut up, lady. You better I'll be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. She's lying. Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and well, seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tomes? It certainly adds weight to the theory. theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches. That is Thea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over oh. ether, he could cast magics on command. Bro. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir the Frost Wolf. Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other... You're saying that Jill granted Togel his powers? What? What the heck? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Torgal and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. Damn. Right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own, 
his latent birthright as a frost wolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal! <laughs> <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Oh, thank God, bro. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. Can't say that, man. This is Jill? No, mid. There you are! I've been looking everywhere for you. Bernard's here. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. Damn. So that, that's even cooler for Torgal. So we're, we're gonna, I feel like we're gonna unlock something new within our uh, our our place. It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm gonna work just you wait. I'll make wonders like. Then I look forward to seeing them. Everybody's like, oh, what is all this? Let's check it out. Oh, what does she have something right now? No, that that's settled. Nope. I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Koopka. Thanks for letting me do this, Clive. I'll pay you back, I promise. All right. No. Oh. Now to find Otto? Oh, Vivian. Okay. How goes the hunt? Largely, we have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places. But if only we knew for certain by what route he left. Well. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. What? Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. <laughs> uh, Clive, have you got a minute? It's Otto. We, um, have a guest. Hmm. A guest? Kind of guest. Oh, his uncle. You're in trouble. It was a pleasure being on site. <laughs> <laughs> uncle Byron. Clive, my boy. <laughs> Tap a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here. <laughs> Oh, big ass dude. <laughs> I like him in his energy, man. Which now that he knows he's alive, he's like, shit. Meanwhile, yeah. inside the Holy Empire, Sam Breck. Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Still, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, your highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Yeah. Very good.
Alpha doesn't trust her. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Leon's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. And what? The men of the Fists will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can. And once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? <sighs> Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both. You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. Bro. As much as I would enjoy this dude's a piece of shit. a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, your Radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. That dude is spot on. Damn. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. Bro. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. You definitely are a piece of shit. Dion? Yes, sir. Prepare for battle. But, sire... Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp, and await my orders. Bro. If that is your wish, your Radiance, I shall depart at once. Damn. Forgive you. What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. The hell? So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. Oh, what? That's messed up, bro. He didn't even deserve it. He just wanted, he's just trying to watch out for his peeps. What on earth is Uncle Byron doing here? Look at that. Only Check one it. way to find out. Yeah. The little ones have been up to them. It's just one thing after another around here. So many cutscenes, so much idling time right now. It's all right. It's all good. Not part of the story anyway, right? Ah, my dear nephew. How I've missed you. <laughs> How did you find this place, Uncle? 
through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. <laughs> which is why I came. To learn the full truth of the You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalith. I was. Then I have questions for you. Gladly. Uh, you then. There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffer. Two. <laughs> He's like, what? His eyes are and I'm a fleet sailing south past Port. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Kopko withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still, what do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the royalists' movements, that the final piece of come here and I'll show you. Come this way. Oh. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Walud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang? A place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts. But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. Possibility, no. right? The journey would mean Titan's death, oh. and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And oh. by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed Days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. What the? Why not her own life? The hell? You gotta stick mine for. So it was the Waluders who spirited. Now I think about it. There was something. The men seemed almost. As if they believed or were made to believe. <laughs> you have a keen and you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the royalist trail across the Velcro. It may mm. well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads. Uh, allow me to, uh, as luck would have it, I had intended to journey Candleward on business after visiting you here. The f I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Very true. So what we'll do is we'll Please speak to Otto. Otto. Kupka's You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the mother. I won't risk any more than I have to. The lands are on the fang. Or all Kupka's personal feet. You have any trouble on the way? You ask for Rosina Dalamil. Some call her. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. All I know is the name. And that they we've heard nothing from mm. her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid. Thanks. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome this... Don't look so worried. Thank fuck for that. <laughs> Gav, Otto, I'm leaving. You can count on. Don't look so weird, bro. Take the 
Uh, what do we do? Should we go to the next part? Yeah, we'll go to the next part, then we'll end it there. All right, Uncle. We shall. Because that way we start the next episode with fight. We're really gonna go this way, huh? I was a young man when last I walked this path. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. All right, guys, so that is going to be the end of this here episode. Not a lot of, uh, not a lot of stuff happening, but there was a lot of, uh, cutscenes that we got out of the way, which is a good thing, you know, this can I save it? I'm going to save it. There it is. We got a lot of cutscenes out of the way and stuff like that. So, hopefully, you guys all enjoyed that. And as always, catch you guys in the next. Afrika is out. Peace.